Okay, so we have uh, here are some remedies with, on the young side, primary herb fuzi, aconite, right? Uh, and on the yin side, primary herb dihuang. Um, in the Tang Ye Jing, which is sort of a interesting book that's been discussed in scholarly circles only the last 15 years or so, um, there the the um, food is des described as water within wood, and because there's still some pungent energy, and Di Huang is uh, water within water. You know, water means winter means stop. You know, so you want to be careful with Di Huang. This is one problem in TCM herbalism. The minute somebody says I'm tired, people get tonics with Di Huang in them when uh, Di Huang, from my perspective, is excellent for stopping things. Water within water means storage within storage, calmness within calmness, so it's shutting things down. So when things are in a state of overreaction, like autoimmune disease, Di Huang is very useful. But if you want to stimulate processes, you need to use wood herbs, uh, the, in the Tang Ye Jing are pungent, cinnamon, ginger, citron peppercorn, asarum, aconite. Okay? So this is, I actually use this herb much more often in my practice because it's water within wood. So you have a calming, grounding quality, but it's still moving and energizing, whereas this one can make you totally waterlogged and damp and give you thick thumb coating. So this is, water within water means death within death. You know, so you don't want to quote unquote, kill the patient, by uh, which it precisely doesn't do, you won't see side effects of this for a long time. And so that's why doctors that don't know what they're doing favor this herb in China, because you like, oh, you know, it's, if something goes wrong, nobody will blame it on me, but uh, this can actually over time uh, really be harmful, okay, like this is, Shen Qi Wan, Liu Wei Di Huang Wan, without here at least have a little bit of pungent materials neutralizing this kind of greasy quality of this remedy. But in China, very often they just prescribe Liu Wei Di Huang Wan as just the sticky herbs, and that can become problematic. Here we can see Fu Zi literally uh, grows like this, and we can see why it's a young tonic. I mean, it's uh, very clearly like a uh, well, don't need to describe what, what this looks like. Um, Fuzi literally means the plant that has two balls attached to the side. So uh, we can clearly see that, you know. Um, so this is the Wuto in the middle. And this is the Fuzi over here. You know, the, the Fuzi actually has less aconitine, that toxic al alkaloid, than this here and the wuto, the trimu. That's why the trimu is more used like cinnamon for arthritic pain conditions, whereas this one is more for long-term uh, tonic, you know, recharge uh, the, the dantian, the fire and the dantian kind of thing. Um, interesting is, you know, the kidney storing jing, the animal that goes with the earthly branch of the eight months is the rooster. Um, but it's really, it, it's called the ji, ji doesn't mean rooster, it means chicken. And the chicken is, of course, the animal that just like the, 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 uh, the other animals we had so far, like the, the, um, the lamb or the sheep, the goat, for the small intestine, has a longer small intestine than any of the other animals uh, in comparison to their body length and weight. And um, goats are famous for being able to eat and digest just about anything. They can eat thorns, etc. They are exemplary virtuous animals, like all of the virtues, like beauty and goodness and selflessness. All of them are written with a sheep radical. They kneel down when they drink milk from their mother. So there is this, this kind of uh, special thing about the goat. Special thing about the, just like uh, people say in Chinese medicine, men are qi, women are blood. It means uh, men have an, uh, lots of qi and that's why they can run and sweat and not be harmed by it because they have that in excess. And women 
have uh, blood and can produce that more easily than men. That's why they can bleed uh, uh, rhythmically every month without being of harm to them. Chicken have an excess of gene. That's why they can lay eggs every day and give them away for free and make more. So kidney, the chicken is all about gene. And that's why it plays such an important role in Chinese culture because it's, it's like the ultimate kidney tonic. And uh, I should say that is true in many ways, but uh, the, um, I think there is a company in Israel actually that's been making for 20 years already uh, an anti-AIDS medication from egg yolk, um, but it needs to be the not, uh, you know, needs to still be raw and needs to be super healthy chickens. You can't just feed a GMO corn or so to have that effect. So it's, uh, Eggs are really super food, but uh, needs to be the right kind of thing. So chicken. Uh, also, there is in the Qigong style that the Jinjing Gong I've been trained in, there are a number of walks. Okay? So you've got the sparrow walk and the fisher's man's walk and the, the, the grasping the fish walk and the eagle walk, etc. So there is a chicken mother walk also. And after studying this, I was like, of course, this is exactly what that does. The bladder channel governs the dumai along the spine. And when the bladder channel is not working well, then the jing qi shen transformation along the kundalini pathway of the dumai will not happen. When the kidney channel is compromised, it is right next to the remmai. The remmai's ability to draw energy back into the dantian is not working. And it comes back up and gives you heart palpitation and anxiety. So the chicken, by the way, how it's working, it emphasizes the remmai. And in the walk, that is one of the fastest way to get the chi into the dantian. You know, so how is the, the chicken walk, the, the chicken mother walk? It's like this. And get in the mood, right? <laughs> so rather than going like this, you're stretching your renmai and you feel the cheek goes all there. You know, so it is literally the chicken is from a Chinese perspective is not only about Jing because it lays these eggs in surplus, but because it emphasizes the renmai which makes the that's what the shen na qi, the, the, the kidney is drawing the essences of the body toward it. And so by having this body structure, that's what the chicken is constantly doing. And as a result of it, it has this excess jing, so it can constantly shed these eggs without any harm. Um, It mostly will emphasize to make the energy come down the remai and end up in the dantian. But then, of course, once the dantian is full, it naturally will benefit the upward uh, movement as well. 